What is going on guys, it's James here from Inside United, a Manchester United YouTube channel for you fans of Manchester United. Today I am very, very disappointed with the way how Manchester United played. It felt like we had returned to our performance which we performed at the start of the season like we did at Preston away. It felt like another early season away day, not like the one we went to at Chelsea and Liverpool recently. <sighs> yep, Everton beat Manchester United comfortably 3-0 at Goodison Park, making it the third consecutive defeat for Man United at Goodison Park. I mean, in fact, we've only won one of our last seven last matches at Goodison Park. It's something where it starts becoming one of these grounds where we don't seem to pick any points up anymore, and it's just not good enough for Manchester United. Uh, we started Rooney up front again today. Luke Shaw started as a left back still, and then Blint dropped into the CDM position. Um, there was too many players pushed up for the opening goal. Everton hit us on the counter attack, um, which was really poor. It was just like McNair, Blint, and Valencia. I think you were back. They hit us on the counter attack. Came to McCarthy too easily. Um, McCarthy got round two. United defenders and then put it through De Gea's legs to give them the lead and it was just so poor how many people we put up bearing in mind it was the f fifth minute of the game and Louis Van Gaal said that he knew that there was something not right about his players at the start of the game I just think they went into this game thinking oh we'll beat them you know they're not that good of a side or something like that I think they just felt like, like they thought they were going to win it they didn't go into the game like they have been recently it wasn't the greatest sort of ways we started. Um, and it was 1-0 to them very early on, as I said. United had lots of possession, but no, cut an edge. It was just like it last week. You can have 70% possession eat every week, but if you don't make any chances from it, you're not going to score. You don't score, then you're not going to do anything. And it was just so poor because we had lots of possession. It was going backwards and... F it was just going backwards and sideways, and it was really frustrating. Then Everton had two, three corners in a row, and each one was exactly the same, where someone would pull off and run in the, to the front post. First one and second one, we dealt with it. Third one, we hadn't learnt our lesson. No one picked John Stones up, and he, we have to say it was a great header for the youngster. Um, but again, it was really poor marking for United, and it was 2 0 after, you know, 35 minutes, and it felt like that really did help hold us back in our chances of coming back in the game. Half time, as I said, no urgency, no cutting edge with the possession, but. You know, we've had half chances outside the box and we just haven't made the most of them. We can get back into it at 2-0. Um, but again, second half, it was the same again. No chances created with all our possession. Um, and then our third goal again. We were defensively weak today. Um, they showed us all our weaknesses um, again. Ball played through. Um, Lukaku is definitely offside because I've wondered how the ball had gone in the net. All the United players just instantly switched off. Literally, they just all switched off. Oh, Lukaku's offside. He's offside. Not realising, you know, Lukaku was offside. Everyone just suddenly stopped. You just look at McNair, who's just strolling, walking. And then all of a sudden you see Morales pop out of nowhere. And obviously he's not offside, so he can just put it in the net. And it's just so slapdash from United. Just the way, you know, they didn't play to the whistle. They thought, oh, Lukaku's offside, let's just stop here. Suddenly Morales is on through and it's, you know, it's 3 nil. Really poor defending from United. And it was really, really hard to take seeing that. Um, you know, because it's just schoolboy defending, which they couldn't do there. 3 nil back killed the game off with about 16 minutes to go. No consolation for United, and again we didn't really create a good opportunity. That's what I'm trying to think of. Again, last week at Chelsea, did we create a really big opening? I don't think we created one either today. That's what you have to ask yourself. I was thinking for some of the game, oh, it was a really undeserved victory. Oh, we've been unlucky really because we just. But again, no, we haven't because you didn't create enough, and ev and that's where the problem folded. Again, United had lots of lots of possession, had the lot ball in their own in their half for a long period of the game, but there was no cutting edge. Um we couldn't find that final pass in the final third. And um 
you know, they just we just couldn't create enough opportunities where Everton, you know, they did. They took their chances. They were clinical in their finishing, and that's exactly what happened at Chelsea last week. But every time Everton got the ball, they did look da- dangerous on us in the captain's attack. We didn't have that because we always waited for them to get back, or if we did get the ball, it would always go sidewards or backwards. We didn't have that attacking intent. I f- f- remembered a couple of times when Shaw got round the back of the defender, but and the final third ball was not good enough, no cutting edge, which means we're two behind City. Um, we're b- behind Arsenal, uh, with them having a game in hand. I think it's two points there in front of us now. And obviously Liverpool, seven points in front of them. They've got an extra game, so if they win that, that's four points. Um, next, we've got West Brom at home. And in theory, West Brom at home... We should win that one at Old Trafford, but you never know. Bearing in mind they're battling for safety, and they got a point off. Uh, but, but they got a point off any. But again, there was no cutting edge from United. We had lots of possession, but if you can't create chances, can't use your possession, it's nothing. And that's what happened. I can't really remember know any players who did play well, and I think we really, really badly missed Michael Carrick today. Our back four was really weak. Um, you know, I think we just look really low on confidence. I don't think anyone really had a particularly good game. Fellaini looked poor as well today and he was subbed off at half time. Mata had a poor game. Herrera had an alright game. But that no one was really effective throughout the game. Di Maria produced a couple of balls but there was no one on the end of them. It was a really poor day. You know, back to training tomorrow. Well, whenever it is. Get your heads down, learn from your mistakes, go again next week at West Brom, pick yourselves back up, because, I mean, if you lose next week, already you're putting yourself so close to not getting Champions League football next season. Um, on that note, though, uh, Everton did play quite well. Their defenders and midfielders were very good. And um, I thought our fans were really good as well. Good to see Van Persie back as well. Um, but, yeah, their fans were really good as well, um, weren't they? Oh, what well, a night. Late in May in 1999, Ole scored a goal in injury time. Oh, what a feeling, oh, what a night. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.